All this filming has messed up my running a bit this week, but I'm going to have two really awesome films at the end of it, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. What's up guys, welcome to my vlog, Becoming an Ultra Runner, where I talk about all my training, where I talk about gear, nutrition, and everything I need for my ultra marathon training. Tomorrow, I am filming a video for Kefili Runners for their trail running session. We're gonna do a little teaser trailer. Wednesday, got nothing planned, it's rest day. Thursday, trail running in a different location with the club. That'll be my only normal running session of the week because on Saturday, I am filming a race. There is a race by a company called Run, Walk, Crawl, and they do this Vale Ultra. A friend of mine is doing the mini version, which is about 19 miles, maybe just short of 20, um, along the coastal pass of South Wales. I think it starts close to Barry and it finishes near Ogmore. So it's quite a nice stretch. There's a load of locations along the way I'm gonna film. So I've already got that planned and set in motion. So it'll be a lot of running for me on that day. If my legs are absolutely shattered, I probably won't run on Sunday. So it's kind of messed up my week, all this filming. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuesday and I've just finished filming the trailer for Kefili Runners. Uh, it was so much fun. Those guys are mad as hell. Uh, we ran around for about two miles or so and then we did a couple of times going back and forth. I did angles from top down. I did slow motion running through um, streams and mud. And we even did a bit of a funny um, shot at the end where we try and um, replicate the BBC advert where the trail runners run and stand on the stone pose and then run off. <laughs> it was really good fun. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at any footage yet, apart from the slow motion water one, which I watched back. It was so good. Um, it was like two really slow motion splashes and a third one comes straight over the camera. I cannot wait to edit this film. Uh, so that's today done. I think I got in like two and a half miles. Uh, my calves are really tight again, so it's not worrying um, because this is kind of normal for me but I find that they ease over time, particularly the longer we went on in the run, the kind of the better they felt. Um, but there was lots of stopping and starting. Um, I can't wait to go and do some normal runs where I'm just on my own. I'm not worried about keeping pace or running on in fast in front of people to get shots. Or I can just go and do a nice, simple routine. village called Dryfen which is on the outskirts of Caerphilly here in South Wales and tonight we are going to be doing a trail running session in a new patch of forestry so it's somewhere we haven't been before um, we're going to be taken around by one of the new guys really looking forward to it I'm hoping next week it'll be me showing everyone around where I get to run that'll be awesome so 
this is probably my first real running session of the week. You can't really count Tuesday because I was chasing people around filming. And I'm going to be doing that again Saturday. So this week has been a completely different week to normal, not a standard week. Next week, though, is the first week of my training plan where I'll be doing strength training, where I will be doing endurance training, and I'll be doing heart rate training runs. I can't wait to talk to you guys about that. I'm going to talk to you about it when I get home. For now, though, I'm going to go run. So that's uh, Thursday's trail run done. I did 10k, well actually it was 9.9 .9 or something like that. So it was just short of 10k, but I couldn't be bothered to do the extra 100 meters. We were by the pub. So went in for a pint, had a really good time on trails that I've never been on before. We went to some castle, which was pretty crap, let's be honest. It was just this little like tower. Um, yeah, good run. No issues to report at all about the knee. Really good, really strong. I think all the glute exercises I've been doing have helped. But I did have a little bit of trouble with my calves, particularly early on. The first kilometre in, two kilometres, they got really tight again, like I told you about before. Really sore. I had to do lot of, lots of walk, run, walk, run. Uh, eventually, we got to about two and a half k, and they started to ease a little bit. And then we got to a hill, ran up the hill. And then it felt a lot better, you know, it felt fine. Got to the top of the hill, which was a good one and a half, two kilometer climb. And I felt really good at the end of it. And then by the end we'd done 10K and my calves were fine as well. So it kind of reminds me of the half marathon I did back in October where I ran about two or three K in the race and I was walking a lot thinking, how am I going to get through this day? My legs are killing, I'm never going to be able to do an ultra marathon. But then they started to ease and I got into the race and I had the best best day it was like one of the best race days of my life um and like today it eased and i felt so much better so i don't know i think it might be better warm-up technique particularly like what we're doing now is obviously not good enough for me i might have to do 10 15 minutes get two kilometers out of the way on my own ease myself in so when we start running it's not that big deal i've gone through that first 2k of pain and I'm then at that point where I can run normally. So anyway, that's me done for today. Uh, I'm going to have a rest now. Tomorrow I'll be doing some strength training, hopefully, if I can fit it in. Uh, if not, it is the Vale Ultra filming on Saturday morning, which I cannot wait for. Um, hopefully it's a really good day. The last time the weather was awful when I filled Breck into Cardiff. There was snow, there was wind, there was rain. What I could do if it's a nice sunny day. Monday at the gym doing strength work, Tuesday doing a zone 2 heart rate 5k, Wednesday is a rest day, Thursday is a trail running session with the guys, so that's going to be any heart rate and any intensity, Friday is going to be 
the endurance based workouts at the gym, doing high reps, low weight. I might fit in the yoga class after that because that's where everyone from the club goes on a Friday night. Saturday, a zone 2 5k, another nice simple 140 beats per minute run. And then on Sunday, a longer run in zone 2 again. Um, I haven't decided on distances for the long runs yet. I'm thinking it's going to be something along the lines of 10k at the moment. That mileage might increase over time. I will see how that goes. On Mondays when I'm doing strength training, the idea will be um, very high weights, low reps. So maybe five sets of five or maybe even less. The idea is I'm going to be doing about 90% of my maximum weight and then hoping to fail at the fourth or fifth attempt. And then on Friday is endurance based workouts. So that's going to be completely different to the strength training. It's going to be similar exercises but done in a different way. So it'll be probably something along the line of 30 reps per set at about 50% of my maximum weight. Um, and I'll do that with minimal rest per set as well, probably 30 seconds rest. So now I've done this talk about my training and I've gone through my week up to this point, which has been a completely non-standard week for me. Um, I think I'm going to cut the video short here because with the race I'm filming tomorrow, there's definitely going to be enough footage to make a full video from that, similar to what I did last time. So, for now, I'm going to cut the video here. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and leave a comment. It could be anything you like, like I wear a silly hat or I drink too much coffee. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe.